Good morning, David Akubian Bearwoods Photography. I've been home now from the Tetons for about a week, and before I left, I had actually ordered a couple pieces of gear that I wanted to fill a couple of needs that I had um, in my, my current gear line. And I wanted to share those with you right now and why I ordered them. I, th I think I've been pretty um, adamant about how much I've enjoyed the uh, Surrey AM284 US tripod. What I really like about it is there's, there's no center column there, so it folds up nice and tight. Um, it accommodates, you know, my, my Acrotec GXP ball head. Um, comes with, you know, everything that you need, a little carrying case, though, I mean, it works. But I love the, the compact compression that it has when it when it's you know folded up and I really like that and you know doing videos as well I want it to complement that um, a little bit by getting a second tripod but I didn't want to get a second one of these I wanted to get one that was slightly smaller <clears throat> so what I ordered was the let me get that out of there as well it comes in a carrying case is the AM225 US from Surrey as well. And you can see that it is so it is smaller. I mean, it, the legs are, are smaller diameter and everything else, which these legs are about the size of, of any really good travel tripod that you get out there. Um, you know, they're, they're just, they fold up nice and tight and that's what I'm looking for. You can get it with or without the head. I got it with the head just simply because I want it to go with the small and compressed. Um, you know, set up there. Uh, with it, you get, you know, like I said, the carrying case, you get a little attachment for underneath for the center column that gives you the ability to put a bag there or some type of weight um, to keep it steadier. You, you get your Allen wrenches and you get the spikes for the bottom of the feet. So you're getting everything that you would want in that tripod, um, all included, of course, along with the six year warranty. Um, a couple little features about it that I really liked, and, and I don't know these things off the top of my head. I, when I look at it online, of course, I knew it. Um, the tripod itself is 1.6 pounds. That's phenomenal. Um, I, I, when I'm looking at carrying a second tripod, or I'm looking to really just carry a tripod uh, to do some shooting instead of the hand holding, you know, this is, this is perfect. Um, the max height on it is the same as the 284, it's 48 inches and you know the maximum load that it can carry is 13.2 pounds. I'm shooting the mirrorless more and more especially for landscape so I'm not concerned about really even over 4 or 5 pounds. 13.2 pounds is, is tremendous. Um, folded up 13 inches. So that is a, a, a great benefit, you know, and you can see that, I mean, it's just, it's tiny. I can literally close my, my fingers around it. Um, so that's, that part of the compression part of it is really nice. You can see, let me hold them up side by side here. You can see how it's a little bit smaller. It's 22 millimeters versus 28 millimeters. Um, but again, it's, it's the idea of compressing up that small. Um, the head that comes with it, you can order it with or without the head. Like I said, I ordered it with the head. Um, again, 3 8 inch screw. It's the uh, B00K head, so it's very small, lightweight, um, but very sturdy as well. So you don't have to worry um, about you know any of the uh, the smaller cameras, especially. I, don't, I probably wouldn't use a 150 to 600, although I could. Um, the combination of camera and, and lens on that is probably still only about six pounds, seven pounds max. So I really wanted to add this to my line and I wanted to make sure that I shot, showed you that. Um, let me just see if there's anything. It's five leg sections. You know, that bottom leg section is going to be a little small, but again, I'm going to be using it for a second camera to do B-roll, to do some video work, to set up in situations like this. I'm using the old tripod that, that I normally would use currently, um, but I'll be using this one from now on. Um, let me just give you some of the other specs. Minimum height, um, 2.76 inches, so it does go ground level. So, extremely nice. Again, you know, it does everything that I want it to do. It's uh, able to go ground level. It's able to go to 48 inches. And with the head, you know, it's going to be another three or so inches. So you're still only looking, 
you know, at, at looking down just a little bit, the times you're going to be bending over if you look through the viewfinder or minimal, you know, using that LCD screen, it's not going to really affect you that much unless you always have an angle of view that you want to get up higher or you're on a hill. That's the only time you're going to notice that 48 inches. Um, so that sort of brings me to the second thing that I did order, um, the SL200, which is simply uh, a removable center column. Now, in the past, to go ground level with the center column, you had to unscrew stuff, you had to take it apart, you had to reattach and everything else. With this, it's a different concept. Um, I'm going to do this one on the 284. Just take off the ball head here. Again, just unscrews. This simply screws onto the top of the tripod. So what I like about this is the times that I do need just a couple extra inches, it's perfect. And I can show you it even comes up a second little section here. It gives you 12 inches additional. So that would be 58 inches plus the ball head 62 inches. So in those times that I need that, I can just throw this little bag into my bag and just have it with me just in case. But I've, I've been playing with it a bit and I have found out that a traditional center column, um, because the spider, this little section where it attaches, seems to have to be a little bit wider and stuff. It doesn't, I feel that it doesn't give it the stability that this does mounting to the top. And then again, the ball head just simply screws on to the top. So the nice thing with this is you don't have to leave it attached. So you have the benefit of being able to fold it up nice and compressed, but at the same time, you've also got the benefit of, of having that additional height in the center column if you need it. And with this, it also fits onto the top of any of the, uh, the AM series tripods. So it just fits onto the top. So if I need it just uh, to go ground level and just a couple inches up, it's there as well. So I felt that those were two things that I, I didn't have to add to my, my system, but I wanted to add because I wanted to try it and I felt it was a really good innovation to, to add to a system. And I think that, that so far I've been playing with it in the yard. I haven't been able to go out and shoot. I've just been so busy processing images from my trip out west. Um, I'll get out this week hopefully and be able to do a few things with it and, and put it to the test. Um, but everything that I'm seeing in there so far really indicates that, I mean, it's going to be super stable. Um, and again, the biggest thing is if you had that center column, you're automatically looking at a tripod that's going to be bigger because you have to do something with that center column while you're traveling. So I really like the idea of having a removable center column that mounts on top of the spider versus the center of the spider. So you know, I'm, I'm really impressed with it so far. I've, I've actually got a little bit of a trip this week I've got to take, so I'm not sure which one I'll take, but I'll do some shooting with it out there as well. Um, so the things I've added, I love the uh, AM284 US from Surrey. So I liked it so much, I added the AM225 uh, US tripod as well. 22 millimeter leg sections, five leg sections, um, 1.6 pounds. And then I added the SL200 center column, removable center column. So, you know, definitely go, go and check them out. I'll have some uh, better description numbers and everything down in the, uh, the description of the, the, the video here. So if you forget the numbers or anything, you can check it out. Um, but I'm impressed with it so far. It's going to do the job that I'm looking for, and that's exactly what I need. So um, thank you again, Surrey, for coming out with some really cool products. So if you've liked the video content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. And if you don't get notifications, there's a little bell down there in the corner that you can ring um, and always get notifications when I post the new video. So it's a beautiful day. It's not very humid here in, in North Georgia. Uh, I don't think it's going to stay that way, but um, I'm going to go out and enjoy the day while I can, and I hope you enjoy yours. So thank you again.